the bottom line. What you need to know and do to impress a college coach. This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 100. Welcome to the Century Mark with me of the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. I'm John Fiedler, your Athletic Scholarship Coach. I'm also an author, a podcaster, of course, a speaker, and I'm here for you in this whole arena of athletic scholarships and recruiting. Been doing this since 2002, helping families achieve their scholarship dream. I love doing it. And I have been anticipating this episode for a long time and thinking about it, especially over the last month and really keenly over the last couple of weeks, episode number 100, what could I offer that would be maybe the, the one thing I could have you take away? Uh, and this episode, so I'm calling it the bottom line. If it's the only episode you listen to, then I believe that you'll come away with things that are key to winning an athletic scholarship. Before we get into this, I want to offer you my freebie online at recruitme.com. Recruit-me.com. Go get there and get your recruiting power pack, three items that will get you off the, off the dime, out of the starting gate. If you're already out of the starting gate, this will help accelerate you. So go get it. It's free. Just download it at recruitme.com. want you to have those three pieces, multimedia for you. And I got to tell you, I am getting ready, as I uh, said, things swirling around in my mind, not only this podcast episode, but getting ready to release the new Recruit Me system. The new Recruit Me system. Uh, I'm enhancing it. In fact, uh, it will be the the best recruiting system known to man, quite frankly. <laughs> um, I want it to be, and I believe it will be. I'm taking some things, uh, changing some things up a little bit, adding some resources, and you're going to get something that really is exceptional. So look for it in the next few weeks, the new Recruit Me system. If you'd like to grab my book, it's still available on Amazon. you got an audio book there, or if you want Kindle or paperback, go get it. It's called uh, The Athletic Scholarship Playbook. It's available on Amazon. It's a, a great investment for you. So let's get into it. The bottom line. The bottom line. What you need to know and do to impress a college coach. Isn't that what you want to do? You want to impress a college coach. You want to connect with coaches. You want to get on their radar. That's what the, the start of it is all about. And that's what you have to do to continue in this pursuit. You can't just get on a coach's radar. You don't want to drop off. You want, it, you want to stay on a coach's radar. By the end of this episode, and it's just 15 minutes, by the end of this episode, you're going to have some tools in your back pocket to be able to use in recruiting. I don't care if you've been doing recruiting for a while or you're just a newbie at this. This is something that will help you out. I'm going to talk about three areas, three things that you need to know and do to impress a college coach. Uh, I'll break those three things into uh, sub areas too. Uh, in other words, you're going to get more than three. You're going to get more than one, but it is the bottom line. I don't know where you're listening. I doubt you can take notes. I listen to my podcast while I'm working out and driving. Go back and listen again. Commit these things to memory. These three things I'm going to share with you are foundational for your athletic scholarship pursuit. So let's get right into them. And there are three A's. It's not an acrostic. It just all starts with one letter. Three things that I want to share with you. Three areas that you need to really focus on and, and master in order to get a scholarship. Athlete, I'm speaking to you. Speaking to you. Parent, if you're listening to this alone, well, you might want to stop this right now. And go get your athlete and listen to this together or go ahead and share this episode with your student athlete because they need to hear this. You might be familiar with the content I'm going to share because it makes sense to you or you've heard it before. But distilling it down into three things as the bottom line that you need to know and do to impress a college coach, this is it. Let's hit the first one. That's attitude. Attitude above anything else. This is 
even more important than how well you do and how talented you are, man, you have got to have attitude because, you know, uh, when you're competing, you can have all the ability in the world, all the talent in the world. But if you don't have the right attitude, you don't win. You're going to be beat out by others who have a better attitude and, and comparable talents. This holds true in recruiting. You've got to have a great attitude. Coaches look at that. They sense that. They know it by talking to you. They see it when they watch you compete. They can even see it on the videos. They know if you have a good attitude or not. An athlete who has a bad attitude is tough to coach. It's hard to coach that athlete. Very hard. And coaches don't want to do it. You know, you're not the only one out there. <laughs> you're not the only one out there with the talents that you have. And coaches are comparing not just your talent, but your attitude. And attitude, I got to tell you, comes first because everything else comes out of attitude. Attitude drives everything else. It drives your performance. Attitude has to be right. Okay, so the two areas of attitude I want to share with you. Attitude, I call it on the field or in competition, depending on what sport you're in. So attitude in competition. What is your attitude? Are you tough? Are you upbeat? Are you focused? Uh, what are some things? If you could describe your attitude in competition and you get three words to use, what would those three words be? Or back it up even a little. What is that one word that expresses your attitude in competition? What is it? Oh, you want to magnify that attitude. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> it's got to be a good one. I'm talking about a good attitude. You know, things that describe a, a good athlete's attitude. What is it? How would you describe it in one word? About attitude, coaches really want to see you in adversity and see how you respond. What is your attitude when things go wrong? Hey, it's easy to have a great attitude when you're winning, when you're doing well, when you're on top. Man, that, that's easy. But how about adversity? Much of your athletic career has been spent in adversity, I would think, and much of the future will be spent in adversity. Adversity as an individual, adversity as a teammate, adversity in a season, a lot of time will be spent in adversity. How do you respond to that? The strength of your attitude, the quality of your attitude will show in adversity. Attitude is key in competition. It's key on the field. Then off the field, what is your attitude? Are you cocky? Are you just full of pride? Are you saying, hey, I'm the best? You're, just, you're hard to get along with. Uh, coaches can see it. You're not a team player. You have this attitude that you are the one, you are the best. I mean, you want to be, uh, I mean, you want to think you're the best. You want to compete like you're the best, but you want to be humble at the same time. You don't want to have an attitude that turns people off. So what is your attitude off the field? What kind of person are you in life? Again, what is that one word that would describe your attitude off the field or out of competition or as a person? What would... That one word be. Parents, let me speak to you a moment here. What is that one word that would describe your son or daughter's attitude off the field? And again, what is that one word that describes their attitude on the field? You want to amplify the good qualities in attitude, and you want to diminish, you want to extinguish the ones that are bad qualities in attitude. That's the first thing. Bottom line, what you need to know and do to impress a college coach, you got to have attitude, the right one. Second A that we're talking about here is aspirations. Aspirations. Uh, what do I mean by that? I got three things that I want to delve into here when it comes to aspirations. Athlete, what are your goals? It's another way of saying it. What are your dreams? That's what your aspirations are. What are your goals? And, and set big goals. What are your goals as an athlete? What are they? Do you have any? Or do you just go out and compete? And you're just a, a natural talent, so you always, always do well, always win. Uh, you've got to have aspirations. Those are going to drive you. 
Those are going to drive you through adversity. Those are going to drive you long term. They're going to drive you through a season. They're going to drive you through the four years in college. What are your goals? What are your aspirations? Where do you want to be as an athlete one year, two year, three years from now? Oh, and make sure you set those big. Don't let anyone tell you that your goals are too big. It's okay. It's okay to have big goals, to have aspirations, to have dreams and to pursue them. I had them when I was an athlete. And you know what? It makes competing fun when you've got great goals and great aspirations. So what are your aspirations on the field, in competition, as an athlete? And secondly, what are your aspirations personally? You're likely not going to compete as a professional athlete when you're done with college. You're likely not. Some of you will. Uh, Some of you are in sports that don't even have professional teams, doesn't even have professional competition. Uh, and you can't make a living at it anyway. So, uh, But what is your, your personal vision, your personal dream? What are your personal aspirations? Where do you want to be as a person one year, two year, five years from now? What is your, your dream in life? Think about that. If you don't have one, man, you need to step back and you need to think through that. Coaches want not just good athletes, not just good student athletes, but good people, well-rounded men and women who have dreams in life, have purpose. What is your purpose? You've got to have aspirations. Coaches look for that. If you want to impress a coach, you've got to have aspirations. And it doesn't just mean as an athlete, but as a person. And the third thing I have to say about aspirations is heart. Do you have heart or are you shallow? Are you competing in your sport? Just because, and it's recreation, which it should be. However, if you're heading off to college, this sport of yours needs to be more than that. Coaches are expecting more. They're investing in you, especially if you are a scholarship athlete. Got to have heart. Do you have heart? I don't need to really describe that. You know what I mean. Do you have heart? Coaches can see that. They understand that. They identify that. It's what you communicate through the way you carry yourself, through the way you run, the way you walk, the way you communicate with people, the way you communicate with the coach, the way you share your goals and vision comes from the heart. Your aspirations come from your heart. Then the third thing, Very last, the last A that I have to share with you. And you might have thought, well, you you should have shared this first. I thought you were going to share it first. Uh, You know, what in this, in this bottom line, what, what do you need to know and do to impress a college coach? You might think this is first, and that is ability, the area of ability. Don't coaches look at ability first? Sure, they do. Sure, they're going to look at stats. They're going to look at your talent. They're going to look at your ability. That is indeed Uh, What they're searching for, they're searching for talented athletes that have aspirations and a great attitude. But I'll tell you, I already said there are other athletes out there with similar abilities, comparable abilities to what you have. And they're also in this pool of recruits the coaches are looking at. So that's why aspirations and attitude are important. But we cannot minimize ability. You can't skate in on a good attitude. You can't skate in on on great goals and be a poor athlete. That's that's not going to work. You're not going to get a scholarship. You're not even going to get a spot on the team. You've got to have talent. I'm not saying you have to be the best on your team, the best in the league, the city, the state, the nation. No, I'm not saying that. But you have to have talent. And men and women, this this is up to you. Yes, you've been gifted by God with talent in your sport. That's why you're competing. That's why a a scholarship is within sights. That's why this dream of an athletic scholarship is very real because you have the ability, God-given ability, to get there. However, you need to become better. You need to take this raw talent and refine it. The best athletes in the world are refining their talent. The athletes that you look up to professionally that you want to be like, they are refining their talent. You don't see what goes on behind the scenes. You don't see what goes on day to day and how hard they work when the camera is not on them. 
They're working to become better athletes. You need to do that too. You need to do what you can. You need to read. You need to watch videos. You need to get instruction if you can. You need to spend extra time with your coach if he or she is good. You need to find ways for somebody to give you an objective assessment of your talent and help you get better. You need to excel. And as you excel, coaches will see that and you'll impress them. Imagine as they follow you for one, two, even three years and they see you getting better, you begin to rise on their list. In fact, some that may not have been on their list in sophomore year, maybe you're on their list now in senior year because you are getting better. Then there's academic ability. You've got to be a a student athlete. Coaches are looking for student athletes. Improve your academics. If you're a 4.0 student, fantastic. Well, maybe you could be a 4.2. If you're a a 2.5 and you're saying, I got to get to a 3.0 to meet the standards of some of these schools I'm interested in, man, you got to work hard. You got to apply the same work ethic that you have on the field off the field. It it carries over. It blends. It crosses over. Use the same attitude to improve your ability off the field as you do on the field. Get a tutor if you need one. Team up with somebody who's a better student than you are in whatever subject or subjects you're, you're struggling with and become better. Push, push, push. Get your SAT and ACT scores up. Get your grade point average up. Push. It could set you apart from other athletes of of similar talent, similar ability. Your academics can push you ahead of them. I've said that before, and it's absolutely true. Coaches are recruiting student athletes. Wow. As you can tell, I am pretty uh, committed to this, pretty adamant about it. (laughs) Those three things you got to work on. Three things you need to know and work on and do to impress a college coach Coach are surrounding attitude, aspirations, and ability. I encourage you to listen to this episode again, and please share it with your friends. Please be generous and share this with your friends. Don't keep it to yourself, but let other people know about these three things. Uh, And that's episode number 100. That's a wrap. I also want to let you know in coming weeks, also changing the format of the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. And that's just a teaser. I'll tell you more about that next time. If you have any questions, please email me, john at recruitme.com. john at recruit-me.com. Ask me any questions. I may feature it on a podcast episode right here. Uh, And I I do read all my emails, and I try to respond to every single one of them. So john at recruitme.com. Two reminders. One, the new Recruit Me system coming out in the next few weeks. You're going to love it when you see what it is. Secondly, uh, make sure you go get the freebie. Go ahead and get it. Are you on my website right now, recruitme.com, recruit-me.com? Yep, because you're going to get it. It's free. So I could be there forever. I'd love you to have it. There's three resources in there in the Recruiting Power Pack. God bless you. Have a great week as we're in the middle of summer. And uh, if you're listening to this on the day it releases, then tomorrow I wish you a happy 4th of July as we celebrate our independence here in the U.S. as a nation. And uh, we're here. I'll be watching some fireworks tomorrow. we got some barbecuing in store. <laughs>